You know, everyone, welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. We're back where we left off here, and I'm being very particular coming out of this port today to make sure to do this first part myself so that we don't get completely destroyed on the rocks like we have been because it would probably sink us. But we're going to be going back out lobster fishing today, and we've got even more pots than before, and we've got a pretty good sign of where to go for our lobster. So I think we're going to have a pretty good time at it. I've plotted out a slight course already. So when we get to here, this is when we're going to do the autopilot through there. And uh, then we're going to, um, yeah, drop some pots and get stuck into it from there. But yeah, just, just chilling. Same as we did the other day. So it should be a pretty good time. And I'm hoping that we can make some serious money with this lot. But we will see how we go. What I will do, though, is I'll quickly just change the time. Just so that it's uh, a bit lighter and a bit more pleasant for everybody. There we go. We can see a bit better now, which is excellent. But yeah, no, it's, uh, this boat looks great. Everyone's looking absolutely fantastic at this current stage. And um, yeah, I, th I think that we're going to have a really solid day out on the water today. So we're going to let the autopilot do its thing and come here and get stuff organized and ready to go just in case we fall onto a big ton of lobster and that's what we're really hoping for today really hoping we can get something going here so we'll uh do that make sure it's at a hundred which it is and then as soon as we get a sign of uh being onto some lobster or a decent amount at least like this it's not too bad then we will end up going for it so they've been this was a day ago they were here so they should be probably around where this two to three marker is so that's what we're going to be shooting for. But we started just a little bit earlier. So we could get into it early. Just drop a few pots at the start of the zone. And as we keep going, it should increase more and more. So I think there's a few that we're going there. So we're going to blop our first one down there. And we're definitely going to just chill. Just take our time. Relax out on this beautiful water out here. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. It looks absolutely fantastic, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's good. And I like our little operation we got going on. It's, it's neat. It's really, really neat. But there's a little cluster there. So we, uh, we couldn't drop it because that's where the previous one was. But there's no signs of any more here at the moment. Pretty quiet so far. But as you can see, we've come a little bit further along. And there is a cluster of three there. So we are going to chuck that one out. It's a fair way out from our last buoy. But that's all right. We will, uh, we've got all the time in the world. No time restraints here. We are just hanging out. But uh, we should be coming up roughly. Yeah, as you can see where we dropped it. There's a lot of lobster on the bottom there. We're coming up to where I roughly said that they should be. So that was four days ago. Sort of three, two, one. And it should be pretty much from here onwards. We should start getting into some really good lots. We probably won't. Uh, there's a lot of times where that doesn't happen. But as far as we can guess anyway, that's a pretty good guesstimation, I would say. However, it's not looking good so far. There's only one down there by the looks. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to we'll have to just hang out and see how we go. They're pretty few and far between, but we've got a couple here. So I think we'll drop one here as well. I reckon that'll be decent. There's a third one just coming up on the screen there. So we should get some there. But yeah, it's pretty few and far between. I'm hesitant to turn around and go back. Like... Theoretically, yeah, if we're not seeing much, they should be probably back here where our first ones are and we could come back this way. But oh, I've had it before where, you know, you've gone up even further and there's been a heap. So I'm hesitant to go back yet. So we're going to continue forward and just see, as you can see there, there's plenty, plenty on the ground there. So as soon as we could drop this pot, we probably will. Yeah, they're still appearing. So I think that that's going to be what we're going to do uh, if we can drop it. We're probably going to be pretty much between the two lots, but that's fine. We can deal with that for sure. But yeah, that yeah, it's, it's a lot further apart than I usually end up with them. But it's fine. We'll drop them where the lobsters are. Ow! God, look at all them. There's a heap. Okay, I think we've found them now, guys. I think we have found them. So we're going to put our little lobster icon where we are here. Uh, if we can, if it's going to let us. Usually will. There we go. And uh, yeah, because that's that's where a lot of lobsters seem to be. 
So we'll just uh, drop this when we get the chance. Because they're still, they're still coming up pretty thick and fast. So I reckon we'll get a fair few hanging around just here. Uh, just fill that one up there. And hopefully it continues for a little while and the run goes forward. But yeah, there's definitely definitely an increase on what there was before. There's, there's an increase in like the little clusters of them here, which is an absolutely awesome sign. Really good sign uh, that we could be on the money. There's a lot there as well. So I think that... Yeah, I think we've found it. The uh, the intel that we got in the last episode, it uh, it seems to have been correct. And that was stuff we got ourselves. We didn't even go to the bar, so don't feel like you have to go there. You get one starting point, then you can sort of guesstimate the rest of the way, which is what we're doing. Uh, but if it starts to get cold, like is in we're running out of lobster, then that's when we will circle back around here and come probably up this side or actually probably in even a little bit shallower because that's where the lobsters tend to uh, enjoy it being around. But we'll give it a couple minutes uh, going straight. And if it quietens off too much, then it'll be something that we'll do. But as you can see, we're still getting a fair few come up. Not absolute bunches like there was just before, but definitely enough to warrant putting down another pot. Well, five pots left. And uh, then it's time to skip forward and make some more money. So it should be should be pretty good. But as you can see, we, we're on a pretty good little honey hole at the moment. I'm hoping it continues that way. Uh, we'll drop another one down here. We'll have four to go. Uh, it has quietened off a little bit though. So it's not, not looking quite as good as what it was before when we were dropping all those pots. So I'm sort of thinking that maybe we're starting to get too far out of that migration zone. So what we're going to do here... So I think we'll wipe all of these uh, markers off, cut in around there, and then come just back up the side here. It'll be far enough that we can still uh, drop off to the side of these, but it'll still be close enough that it should just be off the side of the zone. So that's what we're going to be going with anyway. Uh, Autopilot's going to throw a tight turn on us here. And we should be able to see that start showing up with lobsters again very, very soon. So as you can see, we're coming into the shallower water here, which is usually a pretty good thing with the lobsters. They tend to like it. It's still 109 meters deep, which I didn't even realize it was actually that deep. Surprised that they're, they're running through in that deeper water there, but there's definitely some consistent lobsters. It's not massive amounts, but it definitely is starting to get consistent. But you can see we're still at the hour uh, towards the end part there. So as we start coming up back through this middle part, I think we'll be okay. I do want to drop them. But I'm a bit reluctant because we've only got four left. I don't want to use all of our lobster crates before we get the chance to actually, um, before we get the chance to, to get to the good hot spot. So we'll wait it out a bit. Unless it's a massive big cluster, then I think we will just sit out and wait until we get maybe another 100, 200 meters up the other way. Coming up next to where the hot spot is, or was at least. And, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that now we're coming up to there, we should start seeing a fair increase. Um, but I was just looking at the direction of it as well. There's a good chance that, uh, because they're running out this way on this angle, they might actually be out in this deeper water here. But I like the chances of being on the inside. And as you can see, there are still a fair few coming up. So I think we will drop a pot down here. Although, apparently, we're too close to the other ones, it seems. All right. I didn't think we were, but apparently we are. Uh, that's a bit of a bummer. Yeah, all right. Uh, what we'll do then is we'll get rid of this and then we'll probably tuck in just a little bit further, maybe over this way, up against towards the bank. That's probably going to be too shallow. But what we'll do, just in case we don't drop our pots, we'll, uh, we'll get rid of that one there. We'll come back out into this slightly deeper water here and just see what we can get going there. We might not even have to make it that far because we should hopefully be able to drop our pots before then. But we'll see what we're going to have to do anyway. Um, because, yeah, this shallower water, it usually brings the goods. Usually they hang around the bays off the coast. But it just really depends on how this particular lot is running. So it seems that I'm dumb. I forgot to bait that pot. Uh, that's why I couldn't drop it. So it wasn't that we were too close. So I didn't bait it. But as you can see, we're starting to actually come across a fair few just here. So I think we're going to drop one anyway. I didn't think we were that close to it. But uh, I obviously didn't realize that I could forget to put the bait in. Um, so that's my mistake there, but I think that we should be okay here. And it seems that as we're getting closer to the shore, we're actually finding a 
a few more lobsters, which is definitely a good sign. I don't think we're going to get any big runs like we did through here up against the shoreline, but I think that we're going to be doing all right. I think we'll definitely find a few. And you see, we've still got a fair few coming through here, so I reckon we will dump it down here as well. Might as well get the pots in the water, because if they're not in the water, they're not going to catch anything. So, whoa, tight turn there. Boy, howdy. Uh, don't know why I said that. Sorry. Um... <laughs> But yeah, we're, we're getting real shallow here, and I, I don't really think that's ideal. I don't really think that's what we should be doing anyway. Uh, but we'll wait. We'll ride it out a little bit. Uh, what we'll do is we'll skip forward into there. And now we're in this deeper water. Pretty much parallel to where the run was. So we'll see if this gets us any more luck. It's 163 meters deep. Definitely a lot deeper than it was before. But this should be where they're running. If we're following that line... From where they're going, it should be pretty much between these two lots here. So we should get on the edge at least of some lots of lobster. Definitely tough going, but you can see we're starting to get a fair bit more coming on here, which is definitely good. So I think we're going to drop another one in here. We've only got one left. Um, and you can see pretty much as we're across from where we put our lobster marker, there was, um, there was, there, that's where we got the little cluster. So. It's, uh, it seems to be where they're running for sure. Uh, they're definitely along the bottom there. So once we're far away, we'll probably drop our other pot. Uh, and then we'll head back to the first buoy. And uh, yeah, skip the time forward and pick them up tomorrow. And hopefully we can get a few lobsters coming in to our boat. Because we could do with some money. All right, another little cluster. Seems like as good a time as any. So I think we're going to... Ah, I didn't bait it again. Nearly made the same mistake as last time. I swear... I have a system and I always bait them, but I seem to be forgetting today. Chuck that out there. Hopefully, you didn't miss it too much. And that's it. We're out of pots. So, we're going to head back to where the first boy is over here. And then hang out until the morning. Uh, come up on the front side like that. And then uh, wait until the morning. And get into picking up some of these lobsters. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping... Then we're going to have some decent luck and that the weather is actually going to be all right tomorrow because I don't want it to be rough like it was in the last episode. That just wasn't very pleasant at all. But we'll go skip forward 22 hours. Here we are. Beautiful morning, actually. It's really quite nice. And we have blue boys everywhere, which is an awesome sign. So why not get into it? And we'll keep an eye out on the, uh, on the sonar as well just to see and make sure that if we find any more hot spots along the way, that we uh, we definitely put a mark down for them because then we can, uh, once we've picked up some of our pots, we can place some more back down and hopefully continue that way. But I was too busy talking and I overshot that completely, but we did make it in time. Thank God for that. I seriously th thought that we were going to uh, overshoot that, but apparently we didn't, which is always a very positive thing. So, seems like we've only got a couple in there, but this was before we got to the proper zone. Was pretty quiet through there. So that's perfectly fine. The lighting should be a bit better today. Yeah, we can definitely see a bit better the sizes. That one there is a good one, which is awesome. But unfortunately, we're not going to be putting another pot down there because it was pretty bad. But the next one is still a fair way away. So we'll head up there and pick that one up as well. All right, just about to pull up on the other one here. We should have a bit of an easier time because it's nowhere near as swelly as it was last time. But we can... There we go. Got it. Hopefully, this one's got a few more. It was a space between this one and the next one, though, so I'm not expecting this one to have a whole heap. And uh, I didn't even look, but looking at the radar, yeah, there's not much on the radar either on the sonar, sorry. So, yeah, there's probably not going to be much. Uh, there's actually a lot more than I thought, though. All right. Hopefully, some of them are good size, and it's not just the... Uh, well, the young'uns are hanging. Oh, big splash. Okay. Too small. Perfect. Good size. Another good size one. All right. This is all right. Oh, nearly. Close. Borderline. Another one. Small one. Yeah, it's a lot of juveniles in here. They're all very, very close, unfortunately. Give them a couple more... Uh, a few more months and I reckon they'd have been up to size, but unfortunately not. Good thing is, we've still got plenty of pots in the water. So we'll head up to those ones too. The next ones are pretty close together, and that's sort of where we thought the bit of a run was going. So I'm hoping... Fingers crossed that it's actually going to be the case and that there will be a few to go around. I'm keeping an eye on the sonar too. There's definitely a couple lobsters hanging around there. Not a whole heap. 
the run should be further up here now between sort of where six and seven is is where i would be expecting the current run to be but it'll be interesting to see as we go along just exactly where the run will end up being if we can see it uh, and if we can't then we should probably go to one of the ports and see if we can get some tips at the pub uh as to whether there we go overshot it as to uh the whereabouts of some more lobster because although we got our own intel it does seem to be pretty slow um not gonna lie but but we'll, we'll make it work we'll definitely make it work it's tough out here it's not easy it's a chill game but it's it's not absolutely the easiest thing early game yeah uh, wait for the pot to swing over here there's a few in there not a whole heap okay maybe there wasn't a run here after all good size though just too small. A lot of these are just borderline. That one there is a big one. Alrighty. There we go. We got two out of that lot. Which should be a decent amount. Maybe 200 kilos or so. I don't know how much. Uh, can we find it? 113 kilos. Okay. Not the best, not the worst. We'll make it work. Okay, dokie. Doesn't seem to be a big run going through here at this car and stage. Uh, try not to overshoot that again. It's did way out there but plonker in reverse and uh it usually turns better in reverse so we should have a bit of luck swiveling our way in there and uh for some reason we've still got the bloody tub up there that's why it didn't work come here go in there all right we should be able to good thing is we actually parked it pretty perfect to be honest uh i'm forgetting a few things today i never usually do that but i'm definitely forgetting a fair few uh, hauling in the, uh, the lobsters. All right, there's a fair few in this lot. Looking at the sonar, there's still not many down there, though, so... Um, not having any evidence of a big run at the moment. Good one, though, there. Oh, another one borderline, but I think it just passes. Another one. They're big, big ones here. Holy, yeah, right. I reckon that one might have been just under, but that one's under. That was a good run there. Got a fair few really big ones in there. Okay, we're a bit off to the side. We don't want to go full throttle. But I think it's it's always nice when they're all in a row like this. Definitely makes things a bit easier on us. But um, yeah, unfortunately the others are all over the place. But there are a fair few on the sonar here. So maybe this is where they're running to. Um, uh... Which would make sense. It's just off to the side of where they were yesterday. So trying to drift in here to where we can haul the pot up. Yep. Awesome. Wouldn't mind seeing if we could put another one down here. Because there was a fair few down on the ground there. We'll see if we're too far away. We might back back a little bit. Um, we'll see. Not a whole heap down there. But there's definitely a few below us. So we'll, uh, we'll see what the game does. If they're going to actually let us... Put another pot down there. We might be too close to the one in front of us. We'll see. Uh, small. Oh, close. Just passes. Same with that. So close. Oh, that one, there's no doubt. Just. Just under, I think. But I'll risk it. And another one. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chuck this here, put some bait in. We're gonna risk losing some bait. I think once you set them down, it does lose the bait. But we'll see if we can drop the pot down. Yep, we can. Good stuff. I thought it might have been too close, but it's not. And there's definitely some on the sonar, so I do want to leave them there. But I'm hoping that as we go forward, we do see more going because the run should be continuing straight on a straight line through here, but. My theory could be wrong because the sonar's completely empty right now. So I could be completely out of it. Out of whack. Oh, you're joking. Just out. Slight reverse. There we go. Perfect. All right. Next one. Yeah, see how chill this game is, though? It's just so much fun. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far because I'll, I'll be keeping it going for a bit. I do really enjoy this game. And yeah, there's a few in there. Absolutely nothing on the sonar, so not really sure what's going on there. Big one. We're starting to get a few really good size ones coming through, which is always awesome. Three in a row. 
blows. I think that just makes it though. Golly, are we gonna have a are we gonna have a perfect crate? Yes, we are, I think. Woo! Okay. That is absolutely awesome. I wonder how many kilos that was. 317 kilos. Joking. Oh, there actually is some on the sonar. Directly below us here. So, yeah, once again, I think we've sort of found where the run has migrated to. And I reckon it might be coming through here. It's a bit patchy, a bit spotty. But I wouldn't be surprised to see a bit of uh, a bit of something something going on here. A bit of action. Um We'll see if that trend keeps going or if it was just a little patch. Because uh, usually it's fairly consistent if you're in a bit of a spot where they've all migrated. But you can still see there's a fair few going on down there. So it would be quite interesting. If that's the case, these should have a fair few in them. Um, but we'll definitely, definitely see. I don't see anything that warrants us probably putting another one down, but... Uh, turn the wrong direction! Come on! Look around for me. No, I am holding down the left button. That should bring us around very, very slowly. Come around to there. Come on! You're joking. <laughs> Just missed it. Come on. It's so finicky sometimes. So finicky. Okay, can we... Ah, surely! You're joking. It does seem like there's a little cluster coming though. Which is always a good thing. But, golly, I don't know if it's a swell pushing us around here or if I'm just dumb or what, but we're certainly getting pushed around. I'm not overshooting it or anything. It's just every time we get close, the swell seems to push us out, but we should be able to get it here. I've got the throttle on ever so slightly, but every time we get a swell, it puts us in the negatives and sends us backwards because I don't want to... Just trying to feather the throttle here. See, it goes up very quickly, so I don't want it to mess us around too badly. Come on, float us in. Float us in there. Come on, swell. You can do it. You're kidding. <laughs> making it so difficult. Why is it so difficult? Come on. Ah! Ah, uh, I'll go absolutely nowhere and then a wave comes and it just rockets me in the wrong direction. I'm hitting it wrong. I'm, I'm going sideways to the swell, which is not a good thing at all. I should be trying to go head on and letting the bow take the brunt, but I want to keep my same line here. Um, but we're just sort of not really... Ah, uh, it's just so borderline. Come on. I hope the swell can work for us here. If we get going, that it'll push us in to the pot. Come on! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is painful. I would not blame you if you just stopped watching this video right now, guys. Honestly, I would not blame you at all. If any of you are still even here. Because this is painful. Come on. Come on. Have we got it this time? Have we got it this time? There we go. Finally got it. Holy hell, that was painful. I bet there'll be like nothing in it too. Should have just let the trap go. <laughs> Absolutely bonkers. Come on. Up you come. There's like nothing in there. All right. Awesome. Great. Okay. At least there's a big one. There's definitely some big ones hanging around. But uh, what are we looking at? There are definitely a few on the sonar. It doesn't have me convinced, though. Yeah, there's none directly below us now, unfortunately. Oh! There is sorta. Stuff it. Why not? Might as well. We're here. Saves driving around after. We might as well. Alright. Out you go. On to the next. <laughs> not gonna say it's gonna be the best slot, that one, but... I never know. I don't see any evidence of a real, like, big run or anything. We could go for a spin right up there, uh, right in front of us to see if there's any big patches or anything, but I don't know. This is sort of where I'd predict for him to be, but I'm not sure. Don't want to overshoot it. Perfect. Is it per- Oh, I forgot to press the button. I held it, but it, yeah, I pressed it too early, so it didn't register. Luckily, this should be a pretty simple reverse job. 
Good. Bit dodgy. Kind of went straight through the back. That's all right. Okay, come on. There we go. There's a couple there. Not having a whole lot. All right, there we go. Good one there. Very small one there. And another big one here. Perfect. Um, nothing there. So we're definitely going to take this crate with us. Okay. On to the next one. So we're wrapping back around. Coming into the shallows here. So it'll be interesting to see as we drive. As to whether there's any sort of hot spots or anything like that. We should really have a pot ready to go. But we'll be able to stop reasonably quickly if we do need to. If it comes to that. If push comes to shove. Um, but maybe we should get 12 and 11 first while we're wrapping around. Alright, that's what we're going to do. Alright, we're going to go for number 12. Otherwise, we're going to be sort of going in and then back out and around. So, there shouldn't be... We came at a decent time, so it shouldn't be too bad. And if we can get some speed up, speed upgrade it would be nice to come very soon. We'll see how we go money-wise. Got to be careful of that boat. Because he's pretty much traveling. He's making a beeline for me pot, which is never a good thing. Because he could be in our way, but I reckon he's going to pass by before we need to... Before we need to make any drastic moves. Such a nice day out on the water, though. But I really... I can't see any evidence of whether... He's stopping right on top of me pot. Really? Okay, there's a fair few hanging around here. So maybe they did come out into slightly deeper water, but nothing too major. Nothing that really warrants putting another pot down, but we'll see as we pull this one up. Oh my god. So rude to me. <laughs> there we go. Come on, slightly. Back a little bit. Okay, there's definitely a few lobsters down here. If this pot's shockers, then we might put another one down because there was a fair few on the sonar. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. There we go. There's only two in there, but it looks okay. I think what we'll have to do is we'll have to go back to the port and actually um, try and get some more intel on, on where another run is, like a separate, different kind of run uh, in a different spot or something like that because uh, tucking around in this bay here, it's not really doing too much. We could go exploring ourselves and try and find something, but I feel like they'd be trying to find a needle in a haystack kind of situation there. But we do have still three in the water that we'll come back and get tomorrow. But we might... Oh, there's a fair few hanging around here. But nothing to warrant, like, dropping a pot. So, yeah, I, I sort of... I'm a bit stuck. I don't know what to do. Because um, I see lobsters, but they're too inconsistent to, to provide us with uh, the amount that we need. So, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to... Pick up these pots, skip forward, grab the other three, and then try and find another spot. Because it's just too inconsistent here. Nailed that one. Okay, so we should have some luck here. So there was a lot on the sonar. Seems to be a few in there. Okay, there's definitely a few in there. Good. Good sign. Deeper water too. They might be a bit bigger. Here's a big one. Another big one. It's a good sign. Very good sign. Small. Good. Well, we're not getting the amount that we did in the last one, I don't reckon. But we're definitely getting some big ones. Which is really good. I'm just saving up because I want to get that next boat. Because then we can do lobsters. But we can also do like line fishing, deep rig fishing. That stuff's the fun stuff. The deep stuff. Because then you can get the tuna and the saw... Um, I think it's swordfish? Yeah, something like that. Which is really fun. It's, it's awesome. Uh, so that's the stuff I can't wait to get into. But it's uh, it's definitely a bit quiet out here today. There's, there's a fair bit coming on. But it's coming towards the end of the season. So they'll probably stop running soon. But we'll, um, we'll go back to port after we get perhaps these two. There's definitely some clusters. But there's so few and far between. There's just not that many. So what I think we'll actually do after this one here is we'll, uh, we'll come up and around here and come into this port here because there does tend to be a lot of lobster up around here. So I'm hoping if we go there, 
Then we'll get some uh, information that there could be some stuff up and around there because that's a really nice area to go. It's nice and shallow and you get clusters really close to each other. So that's sort of what I'm hoping for. I want something on a bit more consistent because everything's very, very scarce around here. Uh, but we'll we'll make it work. Whether it's slow or fast or anything, we're gonna we're gonna make this work. Doing a I think we got this boat from our aunt or something like that was the story. I'm not exactly sure. I inherited it from somewhere. Doesn't make it any easier to steer though. Come on! Come back around. There we go. Thread that needle. Let her drift. Uh, not yet. Let her drift here and all are in. Perfect. All right. Good stuff. Come up, come up, come up. Is there some in here? It's probably going to be a bit scarce through here. There doesn't seem to be too many in there, which isn't great. I kind of wish I didn't set those other pots now. I thought we were on the money with our uh, strategy, but apparently not. I'll have a quick look, actually, once we put this tub down and see where we're at compared to last episode. I think we're at 1.7 ton in the last one. We're at 1.6, so we're actually doing better. Uh, there's a lot more keepers in this lot than there was in the last episode, which is a good sign for sure. But I think that once we go to that other port there, uh, we might not sell to them. We'll go there, try and use them up for their uh, information. Uh, but we'll probably end up selling back to the main, back to the main spot where we started because they tend to pay better. But we'll see once we've discovered the location and just have a quick look at the prices because they do definitely fluctuate. But there's actually a few in there. Hopefully a good size. We're in the shallows, so there could be a lot of juvies. I don't know. Oh, apparently not. Okay. These is good. We're getting some really good size ones. Set oh. Close. Close. We're very likely to get a final two today, but we'll see. Okay. Chuck that in there. All right. So what we need to do now is come back through here. We might as well delete that because um, we are going to try and get a different location. Come back through there. Fast travel. Good. Then, if we skip the time forward another 22 hours, 21, we'll go 21. Because it's still in the optimal window, and it's so dark at 10 o'clock. Must be Canada. Well, that just means, must be what it's like. I've heard they have, like, full blackouts and stuff. If any of you are Canadian, let me know. Because <laughs> uh, this is based in Nova Scotia, which is pretty cool. I think that's Canada? I don't know. I, uh, not big on that side of things, but that's okay. So, show, just sneak up. See, this is what I mean to do all the time. Look how flat it is today. This is perfect. This is perfect for lobster fishing. Okay, hopefully we're going to be able to have a good haul this time. Seems to be a few in there. Okay, yeah, a few in there. Let's see. Please be good size. Small. Small. Big. Good. Okay, we're definitely getting the big ones today. Jeepers, creepers, that's huge. Okay, this is good. This is excellent. Oh, that's... Oh. Yeah, right. -o. Shh, don't tell anyone. Don't dob me in. Uh, chuck that one down there. Up there, all right. On to the next one. Try not to overspeed here. This could be nice. Just look at the sonar though. There's nothing here now. So wherever the run has gone, it's definitely moved on from here. Because uh, if it was like this, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't have dropped the pots in the first place. Right, we got that there. Which is good. Come on. All right. There we go. Fair few in there as well. So... Maybe we just cleared them out. That's why there's none on the sonar. Uh, yeah, it's good. They're good size too. Woo, okay. Good. I reckon we're going to hit two tons if we haven't already. Oh, these borderline ones, I do take them. We're oh my God, I reckon that's the biggest one yet. Holy hell, that's a big one. Look at the size of that. God. Massive. All right. It's going to bring us a fair bit in the weight department, I think. 
From there, okay, 2.2 ton. All right, well, that means we're about a quarter full, which is excellent news. Okay, yeah, this, it's quiet though. Absolutely quiet. I love how calm the sea is though. This would be the perfect day. Perfect day for lobster fishing. So, but if we can get up and around that bay, then every day is like that. Uh, at least that I experienced. So that's sort of what we're hoping for. Get this last one in. There we go. Okie dokie. Last one. Lucky last, hopefully. Seems to be a few in there. Yeah, that's shockers. Good stuff. That looks like the best pot of the day, potentially. Alright, give us something good. Too small. Well, that's tiny. There we go. There's a the big mama. That's another one that's very close. I think those ones are actually undersized, but... I don't know. I didn't get fined last time for it, so... I'm pushing the boundaries. If we get fined this time, we'll be more careful, but... Uh, there we go there. Done and done. So, I think... Now it's going to be time to head up and around here. Chuck it in this port here. I don't think there's any big walls in this one, so we shouldn't crash. Uh, in theory. But we'll see. There could be boats or something in the way, but... There we go. Cool. Fast travel to there. We'll try and get a bit of information. We'll see. What do they want to... No, I don't want to sell there. We'll have a look at the fish prices. 21.14. I think that's pretty low. I think that's low. We'll have a look up here. Fish prices. Oh, lobster. Get rid of these because once again, I can't tell colours. But I don't know what it is. 25.48 at Yarmouth. That's really good price, actually. So I think we'll be going back there. But while we're at this place, we'll have a quick look and see if we can't uh, get some information on where there might be some... Uh, no, we don't want to sell there. Come on. Give me some tips. Three days ago. That's okay. We can do that. I swear to God, if it's exactly where we're just going to be, I'm not going to be happy. Uh-oh. Six days ago there. They're going to send us right around here. How are they going to know that all around there? Okay, so it should be in and around about where I'm putting the lobster there. I'd say sort of one, two, three. This kind of spot here. Maybe. We'll go we'll go here and then work our way down this way. Oh. Nah, screw it. We'll go closer, just in case. And then work our way on that exact same angle all the way through there. But we'll quickly jump past here. Do that there. I'm just glad to be out of the out of spot that we are. But if it's rough, we're not going there because it's it's a very rough spot that. So we'll sell that here. Sixty-one thousand dollars, no fines. So those ones are all good. That's good there. Sixty-nine thousand now, which you know what that means. I think that we're going to be able to afford some more stuff there. I thought we bought more pots, but apparently we didn't last time. Oh no, we got the twelve maximum. Good, we did then. Uh, bait block, we don't need more, but I'll grab another one for a hundred bucks. Uh, we need to make sure that fuel-wise we're going to have enough. And then... 67,000. I believe that means that we can actually afford this last engine here, which adds 400 horsepower. We're going to be absolutely flying, but it means we've got no money. So we need to come back in the very next episode, head to that new spot there, and see exactly what we can pull off. Hopefully... We can find some really big lobster and start bringing it home. And then we can look to upgrade to the next boat. So I hope you did enjoy this video, guys. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the very next video.